Gabrielle. We've been working to confirm that name for a while. It's one that we've been hearing floating through the newsroom. We just were able to confirm it a few minutes ago, and uh, I've already talked with some people who said that their son actually went to high school, went to school, was in Boy Scouts with uh, with Connor Betts. Uh, they're also describing him as a child who they said was off a little bit. They said he was bullied in school. They said he got in trouble before, uh, was kicked out at one point. We're still working to confirm some of that. But when I asked them if they knew who this kid was, uh, they told me they were not surprised as soon as they heard his name. Uh, that was an eerie feeling for me. Uh, they described him again as being a little off. Uh, they said a little different. And um, they also said that he was with possibly a relative uh, at the time of the shooting. Um, he may have also been with another person that was injured during the shooting. We asked if they were all together, if they met there, um, if there was any association, that, that there was any indication that this was going to happen. This family was not clear. Um, I can tell you they're also friends with someone who was a victim in the shooting. That person will recover. But they were saying that um, they were just in shock and they were trying to get a hold of the Betts family and they were not able to do that. Um, still working to find out more about the history of Connor Betts, but again, uh, talking with people that, that have heard his name today. Um, it was very eerie. They told me they were not surprised by this. All right, Gabrielle, thank you. And the reason we're going to move on is because we now have Sean Cudahy. I understand we, we were speaking with Bellbrook's police chief, Doug Doherty, not long ago, saying that uh, they had surrounded a home and, and, and they're starting a search warrant. This is uh, the FBI as well as local police. And, Sean, as you heard moments ago, I'm not sure if you were in the live truck. It's still in transit, but we have now... Uh, heard from CBS News saying the suspected shooter yes. is 24-year-old Connor Betts of Bellbrook. My question is, have you confirmed, is this home his home or his family's home where the police are, and what are you seeing right now? Well, actually, Adam, what I'll tell you is that I just pulled up here in the last uh, 60 seconds or so, to, uh, to okay. one minute to two minutes, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on right here. I was listening to your conversation, though, uh, with Chief Doherty in uh, in Bellbrook. I'll show you. You've got the roadblock up right here. Bellbrook police, uh, we'll see if they let this car by right now. They've got a block, uh, you know, a, a roadblock in place here uh, on the street here where the search warrant's being served. They are letting the, the car through, so I, I assume that this is that they're going to let some neighbors who actually live on the street here. Um, but, yeah, this is the street where they've been serving that search warrant. As the chief mentioned a little while ago, they've been uh, they've been out here since about four this morning searching this neighborhood right here. Uh, but again, uh, you know, I, I'm seeing all sorts of neighbors walking down the street coming up to take a look at what's going on as, uh, you know, they start to get more of an idea of what this is that's going on. So I tell you what, Adam, I, as I mentioned, just got in here a few seconds ago. I'm going to try and talk with some neighbors and uh, try and get a better idea of get my bearings around here as we uh, work to find out more about this investigation going on right here. And I'll let you know when I have something else new. And Sean, before I let you, before I let you go, and I, I know you're busy and you want to gather the latest details, I can't quite tell. So just explain to me. I, I think maybe over your left shoulder, directly behind you there, down the sidewalk, is that a group of police officers that we see off in the distance? Is is that what I'm seeing? It is, and, and no, if my, my photographer here, if we can actually kind of come over here, and if you can zoom in right there, I can see a police officer right down, and there's a number of officers in the yard. Okay, uh, right. Sean will stay on scene and he'll report what he finds. Yeah. I did just take the opportunity to look up uh, on the Greene County Clerk of Court's office to see if, if this shooter, suspected shooter, has a criminal record yeah. of any kind. And all I can find is traffic offenses, two of them from 2016, one for speed, one for OVI, and there was an earlier one in 2013.